Hashtag Team All Blade and hashtag No Blade Left Behind. Come on in, throw me a Subi smile, and all I gotta say is squad goals. Thank you for being here for cleaning today's video and for joining me. Hopefully, wherever you're watching from, you're drinking something tasty. Sit in a comfy chair, ready for a shave. You know why I'm today. We've got just over 48 hours of growth, and we're gonna be knocking it down with Mike over at Shields brand new brass AC razor. We've got it in hand and I'm absolutely thrilled to have the chance and the opportunity to talk about his brass AC brand new offering. I think he's really gone out and done a fantastic job. Um, I, I think it looks very premium. The machining, the fabrication all behind it, you can see the lines and everything are well rounded. Everything about the razor just says it's polished and finished. You know, it just looks buttoned up and nice. I think Mike has come a long way with the first razors he offered versus what he's doing now look at the finish here huge shout out and massive thanks to mike for sending this our way and for letting us talk a little bit about what he's doing behind the scenes absolutely thrilled and really excited to have you here for today's shave this is not the first time we've used this razor and i can tell you this much it is a very very um nimble smooth shaver at the 66 67 grams i'm thrilled to see how it does on the dome oh it should be awesome we're going to be kind of going over and revisiting and lightener well this is something i used last year in my March, and I wanted to use it again this March, right? This is uh, familiar, like it'll be familiar to those of you that use Irish Springs, um, not affiliated with, not a tribute to, and not a homage of necessarily, but Irish Springs esque, right? And I like the set. It's green. I think it's a lot of fun. And Lightner Well from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. It is available currently over on their website. And I wanted to mention it. I do think it um, really embodies kind of the spirit of like, you know, of March. And I like it a lot. And it's one of the ones that when I lather it. I like the kind of green hue that the lather gets. We did that today in our Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Dreamscape Scuttle, which always produces such a thick, rich lather for me. And we did it with our chisel and hound brush. This is the Mammoth Tusk. It's a very premium brush. And I won't lie to you, for all everybody out there that's watching the lather videos, and you're saying to yourself, well, that was a big, huge scoop of, of soap. Honestly, this brush is very lather hungry, and it tends to require a lot of soap for me to really get it to be, I mean, what I want it to be, right? To be able to get the full shave that I'm looking for. I have to lather pretty heavy with this brush. This French area not eats the lather, but Doug's stuff, I'm telling you this, it's slick, it's rich, it's hydrated, it's so easy to use, and it always produces a ton of protection. The face shave with this razor today, it was very, very effortless. It was easy. If you've used one of Mike's um, brand new um, Artist Club heads, they are a little bit more mild than like some of the other um, Artist Club offerings on the market. They tend to be, like, I would say this is probably more fit towards everybody's preferences, right? This is going to be something that more people, I think, are going to gravitate towards. Now that um, Blackland is offering their um, uh, their um, vector light, right? I think they've actually caught on to the fact that not everybody's looking for blade fill. And I like that Mike's doesn't have a ton of blade fill to it. Um, it does have slightly positive exposure. And I do want to call that out because it, def it still requires a very, very um, fine hand, for me at least. Um, I was asked recently about Mike's products coming with a, a little collar. I want to just talk a little bit about that. He does ship the razors with like what I would call a base plate protector, a finish protector, a little teeny tiny spacer that I still use. I screw it on my, on my base plate and my handle together using it. It does protect the base plate from the actual handle from um, wearing together. But I will call out that you don't get the same kind of rigidity that you do when you screw it all together. And I've heard a lot of people kind of go back and forth on whether or not the little plastic collar actually affects the way that the blades clamped. For me, I don't mind the way it shaves with this on there, but I do want to call out that you can use it with or without, and it is kind of debated upon if it actually affects the shave. Let's sit here and start some shaving. I'm really excited today to see how these Kai Captain Milds do in a slightly heavier razor. I'm typically um, very, like, you know, accustomed to using his titanium offering, and I have it in that chunky handle. I really like the way this is um, kind of set up and the way this shaves, but I like that he's gone to a more elegant, slightly thinner, the 
taper on this on the handle just looks really nice very very streamlined and very classic right I, there's just something about this that i think um looks very finished compared to this right this is awesome i love this but i think this really screams premium it screams finished let's see how the shave is oh i'm really excited again 48 hours of stubble and it is smooth it is elegant it does remind me of the titanium offering um, I think the smoothness, the, um, the, the shave quality, the performance, I think they're all very, very similar. Um, I think one of the benefits or cons to the brass razors, right, is that they are going to patina. And I actually reached out to Mike and he said he's excited to see some other peoples that are using theirs, right, kind of age and get that antique look because brass will patina and get like kind of a, um, like a, a very specific, you know, aged look to it. And he's like, I think it'll look really nice and really cool to see how each one individually patinas. Um, patina is kind of a not for everybody. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I am a person that um, I, I tend to get rid of mine. I use uh, like a little bit of brass um, tarnish remover that gets rid of the patina. Personally, I live in a place where it's very humid and things tend to patina overnight. So it's not something that I typically, um, you know, like, like work for. But I know that some people actually will like um, do the processes to make their razors patina faster and kind of artificially patina them because they like the way that looks. Um, and then this one will do that. I think that this razor, it's finished in kind of like a more satin finish. It's not necessarily like shiny and bright, but it's not at the same time, it's not like dull. It's not like a purely satin finish. I really like that. And I think I, I'm really excited to see how long it holds that finish up for, because I think it looks really good. I love the color of this. I want to call that out. It's like this very, very, very nice gold hue to it. Look at this. It's beautiful. I love that brass color when it's like this, when it's just pristine. It has hasn't been used it hasn't been aged in humidity and i just love that pristine brass look um again he is offering this and now in stainless steel titanium and brass i mean the guy is going crazy huge shout out to mike um, for really giving a lot of options to everybody out there and trying to fit everyone's preferences and um, kind of what, the, you know, giving a lot of options. I, I'm never going to complain about more and more options. I know it's hard for people like Mike that are making these razors that to offer such a huge, vast, like, selection. I can only imagine how difficult that is to do, but I really do appreciate it, and I'm thrilled to have the chance to use something and see his progression. I love that. The Kai Captain Miles in this razor are so darn smooth super easy i would say this razor's weight is somewhere in between the uh, like really really hefty when i add like a stainless steel really hefty handle to my titanium and the just the the, the standard titanium with titanium there's somewhere in the middle that 66 67 ish grams really feels nice it feels like almost like the perfect amount for an artist club razor in my opinion that's about what my vector tones in it and comes in at, and i think that's like the right weight for me at least Take a look here. Oh my goodness, it is beyond close. It is so darn smooth. It is really comfortable and it is really easy to use. Again, massive thanks to Mike and a huge shout out to Shield Razors for all their um, effort and their continual progress in you know, uh, making you know, hashtag Team Allblade happen. They uh, have the released gems, double-edged safety razors, um, adjustable safety razors, and I've had the chance to really talk about all of them. And I'm very, um, very appreciative of that and very um, excited to see them continue to challenge what is being offered. I reached out to Mike and I said, you know, not only do I love your um, products genuinely, sincerely, to the heart, because they shave really well for me as a head shaver, but I like seeing you challenge yourself and go after like unique designs that not everybody would, you know, be willing to chase. I was like, I really appreciate that. I think that's really cool. And he said, you know, for him, the thing that he likes to um, be very proud about is making a uh, wet shaming available to the masses, right? He's like, my prices are um, really low for a reason. I want everybody to be able to experience quality premium high-end shaves at a discount at a price that's affordable and i love that about mike I mean, he's really a person that's considering the consumer at the end of things and making sure to you know uh take everybody's um, budget and my uh, you know uh, budget and lifestyle into consideration i think that's awesome huge shout out again to mike for producing razors that not only shave like this like look at that shave 
fast, close, and to the bone, effortless, but that you can afford as well. And I think that's awesome. And not only it allows people to reach out and get more options on the table, right? You can try other things, but it also allows you to kind of dial in what material you want now and what style, how big, how thin, how um, how aggressive, how mild. I love that. Huge shout out again to Shield. We're going to grab a little bit of splash here and throw it on again and lighten her well. I love that it's green. I just, I want to call that out. 2024, I guess, is a reformulation of the scent. I noticed that on the webpage, but I love that this one is green, that that splash is green. It just, I think it says this is March. Oh, it may be the end of it, but I'm thrilled to have had the chance to get it out one more time and get a phenomenal shave with you. Thank you for joining me. I really enjoyed having you guys. It's been an awesome shave. It was close. It was comfortable. And I think that this is one of those ones that I'm going to continue to reach for, especially as um, the like the summer months come, right? And you're looking for that really smooth BBS shave that takes very little effort, that has very little blade fill, but produces a longevity, right? You, one shave lasts 24 to 48 hours. I love the razor and I love Loved having you here for it. Thank you for joining me. If you haven't, please go below, smash that sub button. I'd love to talk to y'all in the comments. And until I see you there, soon. Ow.